What's up YouTube world? My name is Anthony. Today is my first Foodie Friday. And Foodie Friday is where I will be cooking some delicious meals or delicious desserts like today where I am going to be cooking vegan fudge brownies or as the kitchen likes to call it, fudgy as fuck brownies. All my friends who aren't vegan or aren't, even aren't vegetarian, even my parents, they love them. They like to eat them a lot. They always are asking me for the recipe. So finally I decided that I'm just going to make this video so I can just send it to people whenever they ask me for the recipe. I do suggest that you pick up this book. It's called Thug Kitchen Party Grub and you can get it on Amazon. I'll be posting the link in the description box below. They also have the first book that's just called Thug Kitchen, the official cookbook. They're hilarious books. They swear a lot in the books and it makes you laugh. It's probably the most entertaining cookbook that you'll ever own in your entire life. The most important thing in making brownies is the chocolate. This is called Enjoy Life Dairy-Free Semi-Sweet Chocolate Morsels. You can pick this up at your grocery store like I did and I was really surprised but my grocery store has been selling a lot more vegan options there, which has just been fantastic. They're pretty cheap. They're only like three something, I think, three seventy nine for a bag of these. It's the same price as like Nestle Toll House, I think. Or you can pick up any dairy-free chocolate chips. I know if you have a Costco membership, you can get a huge bag of Kirkland chocolate chips, and Kirkland chocolate chips are dairy-free and vegan. At Costco, you can get like a massive bag of them for like ten bucks, I think, or even less. Or you can go to Trader Joe's, and Trader Joe's chocolate chips aren't certified vegan. It says on the back that it may contain trace amounts of milk. It doesn't say that does contain but it's up to you whether or not you want to go on top of that you're gonna want some refined coconut oil some olive oil and the recipe it suggests using grapeseed oil but I use olive oil this recipe is actually kind of healthy even though they are brownies so you can use uh, some whole grain flour, and this whole grain flour, whole wheat flour, whatever you want to call it, is great for the recipe. Just simple salt. You can use sea salt if you want. I just use whatever I have in my house. Um, some Hershey's cocoa or whatever cocoa powder you want, as long as it's unsweetened. I'm not a fan of Hershey's. I don't like their company, but this is what I had in my house, so this is what I'm using. And also, you want to get some vanilla extract, some apple cider vinegar, and if you're vegan, you probably definitely already have a ton of this in your house because apple cider vinegar is life. Then you want to get some whole ground flaxseed. It doesn't really matter what kind of flaxseed you use. Even if you just have like regular flaxseeds in your house, you can just throw those flaxseeds in a blender and grind it up until it becomes like a kind of like a flaxseed meal. That is actually what you're going to use to replace the eggs. So to replace eggs, you use flaxseed, apple cider vinegar, and a dairy-free milk. I like to use silk cashew milk because it's, I just love cashew milk. I think it is the best and creamiest texture and it really makes everything kind of taste better. And then of course, you know, your usual baking soda that you're gonna want to use. You want to make sure to pick up some organic sugar. Trader Joe's actually on the back of it says this is actually a product that is certified vegan and a lot of sugar is not vegan. A lot of sugar is actually processed through bone char which is bones from an animal. It makes it not vegan. It also can cross-contaminate with eggs or dairy when it's being processed. So you want to make sure that you're getting organic cane sugar and that actually is or says certified vegan on it. This is how you make a vegan egg. When you're baking as a vegan, a lot of people think that you can't bake because how are you supposed to use any combining agent in your food without an egg or without milk? Well, this is actually a really simple way. So what you do is you take a half teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and you add it to room temperature cashew milk or any non-dairy milk that you like to use. So you just take about a half teaspoon of apple cider vinegar dump that in there. We're gonna use our whole ground flaxseed to about two tablespoons of whole ground flaxseed. You're just gonna dump that in your apple cider vinegar. So for this I added three-fourths cup cashew milk, two tablespoons of ground flaxseed meal, and then a half teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And this is what you're gonna use to replace the egg and combining agent in your brownies. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of stir that up in there. Just kind of stir that up. You're just going to set that off to the side and just let it chill for a couple seconds and then move on to your next couple steps. Now the chocolate. My oven is finally done heating up. So like as you're doing all this, make sure to preheat your oven to like 350 degrees. So once you have your chocolate chips in a bowl, you're going to start adding in all of your different oils. The first oil that you're going to use is a refined coconut oil. So kind of just looks like this. It does not have a coconut taste at all. It actually has no taste. So it's really great. And you just want to use about three tablespoons of this. Um, so 
After you add the coconut oil in, um, you can add in one tablespoon of either olive oil or grapeseed oil, and you just kind of throw that all in a bowl. So after you throw that all in the bowl, it looks just like this. You're just gonna open up your microwave, throw that in there. Set your microwave to high or whatever you want. Just hit 25 seconds. Usually I go about three rounds of putting this chocolate. Usually I put this whole mixture in the microwave and set it for about 25 seconds for about three times. And then each time it comes out, it's a little bit more melty and you just kind of mix it up continuously. The second time through, I can probably stick it in for about another 20 to 25 seconds. Nice like fudge texture. Just kind of stir it up a couple more times and you're good with the melting of the chocolate. So we have all of our chocolate kind of mixed in there. This is when we're going to start adding in the sugar and the vanilla. You're going to take your Trader Joe's sugar and take three-fourths of a cup of this. After you have your sugar and dump it in the bowl, you're going to take some vanilla. You're going to take about a tablespoon. Just kind of pour that in there. And then mix this up really well. Kind of want to make sure that's all stirred up in there really nice. So of course this is healthy. I mean, whole grains are always healthy for you. And I mean, if you're going to eat brownies, you might as well eat this. You're going to take a cup of whole wheat flour. So once you have the flour in the bowl, take your baking soda. Add a half a teaspoon of that. You're going to take a half teaspoon of salt. And finally, you're going to take a half cup of your cocoa powder. It doesn't have to be Hershey's. So it really is cost effective just to utilize what you have and base your recipes off around that. One of the reasons that I love the book Thug Kitchen is the fact that all the recipes sort of go together. So once you buy ingredients for one recipe, you can use those same ingredients the next day or even for the rest of the week, depending on the spices and the freshness of it. There's a lot of blogs and there's a lot of sites that will have vegan recipes on it, but they have so many ingredients. And honestly, if you live in a town where I live, there isn't a lot of options around to find a lot of these things, especially everything in Thug Kitchen you can easily pick up at any grocery store, even if you live in a really small town like I do. Now this is sort of like the annoying process of this entire recipe, and that is adding in the flaxseed, cashew milk, and apple cider vinegar mixture and you're gonna just dump that in slowly into your chocolate, sugar, and vanilla. Every time you dump a little bit, you're just gonna mix it in. You wanna make sure that it's really stirred in before you add any more. Flaxseed is awesome for you. So this is actually a healthy mixture because flax seeds actually provide a lot of omega-3s that you need in your body. They also add nice fiber. It's time to take our flour mixture and just pour that right in. Now stir it all together. And also make sure that you have parchment paper. I tried it once without parchment paper and they came out terrible. Well, not terrible, like it still tasted good, but the consistency and the fact that I couldn't put it on a cooling rack made it so that they would fall apart and were really crumbly. That's the great thing about this too, is that there's no eggs in it. So you could eat this with a spoon, honestly, you wouldn't, and there would be no risk of getting salmonella poisoning from it. Come on. Once all of this is in here and it tastes so good, you can just start spreading it out evenly across your eight inch pan. I hate parchment paper because parchment paper is just so annoying. It's like, you can never get it to where you want it to go. It's all nice and spread out. I'm gonna stick it in my oven, which I've had preset to 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. At 20 minutes and here is the inside of the brownie. You can see the sides are nice and crunchy. It's still a little bit warm and it's delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. This is my first Foodie Friday ever and I hope it came out okay and I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna be posting Foodie Fridays every single Friday, basically where I'm going with my channel right now. And on Mondays, starting on March 7th, I'm gonna be featuring Music Monday. So I've been going around and have been really busy filming different bands around my area or people who are in the area touring and I've contacted them and interviewed them and they give special acoustic performances just for my channel so it's been awesome and with Foodie Friday I'm trying to figure out something to do on Wednesday but I really want to post three times a week and then still have time to do distracting videos which is my collaboration channel. I'll be posting all of the links in the description box below for where you can find Thug Kitchen and where you can pick it up at. I'll also be posting the social media links of where you can follow Thug Kitchen on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you so much again for watching this video and have a great rest of your day. Bye!